JC here again for RetireCheap.Asia. One of the things I'm trying to do uh, recently, and I'll continue to do, is address some of the issues that I see that are coming up in the news regarding your retirement and uh, your ability to retire, I should say, uh, because a lot of information is coming out of the United States. Now, uh, the other people from other countries that are watching this, you know, I don't want you to think that I'm forgetting about you. I just don't have a lot of information about what's going on in, in your countries. And so a lot of the stuff that's happening within the United States is also being reflected around the world. So people are finding that they're having the same challenges, whether it's Australia or the UK or any other country. Um, money's running short. The government's running short on money. Um, people are running short on money. So even though I'm focusing on some of the statistics of the United States and some of the things that are happening within the government in different areas like that, it's not that I forgot you all in these other countries. And you know, you can give me feedback about what's happening because I'm really, you know, I'll pass that on to other people. But I think we're all in the same boat together, and I think some of these things really apply to all the countries. But um, I am from the U.S., so a lot of the stuff is geared towards, but it's not that, you know, I don't care about the other countries because I do. So anyway, um, ABC News, which is an American broadcasting company, um, they uh, just put out uh, a report uh, April 5th, um, 2011, and um, it's probably pretty shocking. You know, it's another one of these polls, and it says uh, Associated Press lifegoesstrong.com poll has found that 89% of the 77 million people born between 1946 and 1964, which are the baby boomers, 89% of those 77 million people are not strongly convinced that they'll be able to live in comfort in their later years. So every day, 11,000 people are retiring turning 60 years old, actually turning 60 years old. So it says, further underscoring the financial squeeze, 44% of the baby boomers express little or no faith that they'll be able, that they have enough saved money for retirement. That's almost half the people think they don't have enough saved up to retire. One in four, this is 25%, one in four said they don't think they'll be able to retire ever. 25% think there's no way they're ever going to be able to retire. This is crazy. This is nuts. What are we doing to the old people? I mean, come on. The government has to step up. Now, having said that, the government step up, guess what? Listen to this on Capitol Hill. Politicians are facing growing pressure to curb the, uh, the record federal deficit. And budget hawks of both parties have expressed a willingness to scale back Social Security. Because Social Security is the nation's biggest program. So both parties are saying, yeah, maybe we'll cut this back. Come on, guys. I mean, old people got to survive. What are you going to put? Oh, throw old people into poverty? I mean, come on. So this is why I want to show people, you know, what their options are. It says six in 10 in this poll, six in 10 say their investments, retirement plans, and their home have lost significant value in the last three years. Uh, of that group, almost half, this is 42%, say they're now delaying retirement. So they don't have the assets now to, to retire. So it's going to get better. Now the wind just picked up. I hope it's not affecting the audio, but I'm going to continue. Um, so anyway, that's the poll. Scary, eh? Okay, guys, so what can you do? What are your options? Well, we're going to talk about that in detail in the membership section, and I'm going to talk about really what you need to do. But here's a, a general overall plan, because people ask me this all the time. What you need to do is reverse engineer this thing. Okay, we need to find out how much you're going to need to live comfortably. Now you can do this in the States, but the figure is going to be high. Or you can do it living some, in some other country like Thailand or Southeast Asia. So now I put in a lot of information about how much things cost. So what you need to do is say, okay, if I ate every day, how much is it going to cost to eat? 
If I uh, stay someplace, how much is it going to cost to stay every month? And figure it out for a year. How much are you going to need to live comfortably? Throw in some golf, some movies, uh, some entertaining your significant other, whatever you need. How much is it going to cost, okay, to do this? Okay. And what you can do is we have a retirement budget calculator. So you can take even food and everything and plug it into the calculator and find out how much money you're going to need on a monthly basis over here, okay? Not back home, but over here. But once you have that figure, then all it is is figuring out how to get that. Like, okay, do you need to sold your assets? How many years are you going to live? You need 20 years worth? Well, sell all the assets, divide it by 20, and see how much you have. If you have enough to live every year for the next 20 years, you're good to go, okay? Or 25 years, or however long you think you're going to live. But we need to come up with a number. Okay, because we don't want this to say that you can't retire. I mean, come on, well, you can retire. I just to do that. So before I get rained on here, uh, it's actually nice and cool, but uh, you're probably not able to hear me as well now because this wind blowing. It looks like some rain's coming, so I'm going to cut this short. But uh, hey, baby boomers, hang in there. No matter what country you're in, okay, we'll figure this out. Remember, there's always an option.